Josh Viola with Hex Publishers talking about Denver Comic Con 2016 at Breckenridge Brewery, the new location in Littleton. It's awesome, a little tipsy. Here with Groovy TV. Hey, it's Groovy. I'm here with Josh Viola here at Breckenridge Brewery. We're talking about Denver Comic Con. How the heck are you doing, man? Good, good. Busy. Busy as hell. You you don't sleep, do you? Not much, no, if you can't tell. That's why I'm going to mumble and, and trip over my words during this interview. Like, I know a lot of amazing people. You are an overachiever like I can't even believe. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. When you, when you don't have a life, you know, you got to find things to put into it. Single guy, so, you know. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's date night with Josh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, w I prefer it that way. I'd rather I'd rather date my my work. So me too, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It is, it is. Yeah, high five to that. Boom! That's how you win world's records and stuff. Yeah. And make movies, exactly. books, video games. I don't even. I can't even. Guinness, Guinness Book of World. Records. I can't even list all the stuff you do. Oh, that's I'm talking about you, <laughs> Guinness Book of World Records. It's true. Got to got to throw that out there. Wouldn't it happen without you and the gentleman sitting over there too, who's he's a, he's a mystery guy. But thank you both. Yeah, yeah, of course. Glad to be a part of it. Now, of all the stuff you got going on, you got something really, really freaking cool coming up. Tell me about Cyberworld. Uh, the new anthology from Hex Publishers, Cyberworld, is absolutely fantastic and mind-blowing. It's a cyberpunk anthology. Nice. Um, and it comes with a soundtrack, uh, by S which features music by Cell Dweller, Mega Drive, Scandroid, Circle of Dust. Um, and it's, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Warren Ellis uh, oh, yeah. gave us a blurb, as did Chuck Windig, nice. um, the, the current Star Wars uh, Aftermath author. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's just uh, uh, cyberpunk has, has kind of, was very popular in the 80s and yeah. into the 90s, and it's kind of died off a little bit. And so I wanted to put together an anthology that, that really just shows that actually cyberpunk didn't die, that we're living in a cyberpunk world today. Oh, we totally are. Um, yeah, and, and so we, we got a huge stellar table of contents. We got um, Saladin Ahmed, Stephen Graham Jones, E. Lily Yu, Alyssa Wong, who this year, Alyssa was nominated for a Shirley Jackson Award, Hugo Award, and she just won, like in the last week, a Nebula Award. She's just on a roll. Um, and Richard Cadry gave us a foreword and is co-edited by Jason Heller and myself. And the Hugo Award winners. So you have a yeah. Nebula and a Hugo Award winner in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nebula, Hugo, Shirley Jackson, right. um, all the major. They're, they're all huge, fantastic writers. So super happy to have them. That's so cool, man. And I'm a huge cyberpunk fan. Like during the 80s, William Gibson, Philip K. Dick, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, this is clearly in tribute to them. And if you read the introduction to the book, you'll see uh, uh, that we're we're referencing, you know, where it started, where it came from, and how it's moving forward. Wow. So, and, and clearly, you know, science fiction is 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 really more a reflection on what's happening today as opposed to what will happen in the future. So, you know, these are hot writers, and it's going to be interesting. We have uh, I forgot to mention it, Paolo Bacigalupi, who's a local writer, huge right now. He's uh, author of The Water Knife, which is you know he's he's known for cyberpunk as well. So that's so cool. It'll it'll be it'll be interesting to see where this stands. You know, 15 years from now, right on. If we nailed it. So how how did the music come together with the writing? Well. I'm a, uh, I'm a huge cyberpunk fan, so I was just, I've always wanted to do cyberpunk, a cyberpunk book. So when I reached out to Jason Heller and said, hey, you know, are you interested in working with me on this? Um, you know, this, this is what I want to do because video games that I play, movies that I watch, uh, books obviously that I read, you know, the, I, and I'm absolutely obsessed with like retro 80s stuff. So I listen to a lot of uh, uh, synthwave kind of music, which yeah. is a modern take with an 80s spin. Mm -hmm. um, obviously heavy synth stuff. Right. So when we started the process of the book, I've got a, a pretty good relationship with Clayton of Cell Dweller and, mm -hmm. and his company Fixed published my first book. And I was like, man, you know, you he's, Clayton started uh, Scandroid, which is very much a synthwave 80s retro, a new retro kind of band. Okay. Um, I, I just reached out to him and asked if we could put together an album of basically music that I listen to all the time on repeat and, and annoy the hell out of people who are close to me and work with me and hear this music all the time. I'm the exact same way. So it's, it's kind of like, you know, when you when you put together like a mix album that you give all your buddies, yeah. it's like, this. I got to do that professionally with awesome art. So this is like, anybody who buys my book, it's like, here, you get my little mix CD of 
what I recommend. So, so it's awesome, awesome mixtape number three. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty so awesome. stoked about it. It's um, it's gonna be fun. So this will be out uh, election day actually. When oh, wow. when potentially the world ends, depending on who who gets in. <laughs> and I'm not gonna take sides right now. I don't wanna. I want the book to sell, so I'm not aligning myself with anybody. But Everyone uh, can buy the book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Regardless of how you vote. Election day, this will be available, so November 8th, those of you that aren't registered to vote and don't know what I'm talking about. And we have a Tattered Cover event uh, November 10th, two mm -hmm. days later, at Tattered Cover and Lodo. Um, some special guests are planned to be there, but we'll have Stephen Graham Jones, Warren Hammond, Angie Hodap, Jason Heller, and myself. Nice. And then we're doing a book tour, uh, actually in October, before that. Um, so we'll be doing San Francisco, Seattle, Denver, and New York. That's so, really cool. Yeah. Right on. I've never been on a book tour. How do you do that? Well, this will be my first book tour. Yeah, but we have so have many like shirts. You know, like uh, we do have Cyber World shirts. Actually, yeah, we do. Uh, trading tour. cards, um, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing that, and there are various different writers from mm -hmm. across the U.S. that are in the book and across the world. This is a pretty diverse anthology. So we have writers from. Uh, uh, Congo, from uh, UK, from Canada, from other wow. parts of the US. Um, so yeah, we'll, each tour, each book tour will have different writers that it won't be at the next one. So it'll be interesting. It's awesome. It's tr truly a global community yeah, very much. thing I going mean, on here. We're, we're promoting it as you know, diverse tales of the future. And, yes. and that diversity is a, is a pretty big, you know, ha it, it plays an important role. Right. Um, and obviously, in the science fiction community, as a publisher, you want to pull in as much diversity as you can. So it's not all just white dudes that are, that are the writers. You know? <laughs> it's a really diverse, nice. It's nice. all suburbia and rain, boring. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we want to show uh, uh, culturally, we want to share voices of how they uh, are interpreting what's happening now and lending that to their fiction. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the that's goal. Awesome. And Cyberpunk's just the perfect uh, uh, platform to do that. Awesome. Now with Hex Publishers, uh, you guys are going to be at Denver Comic Con, correct? Right? We will be at Denver Comic Con and we'll be promoting Cyber World. We'll be selling uh, uh, Nightmares Unhinged, our last anthology. It's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Denver Post bestseller twice last year. Um, and then we'll be, uh, uh, you know, there's a variety of other things going on with Hex, including comic books with uh, uh, UFC fighter Kat Zingano, mm. um, some other comic book titles that I have with Stephen Graham Jones that will be coming out, uh, uh, Warren Hammond, and then we have some other anthologies planned, so Blood Business, which is a paranormal crime anthology that I'm co-editing with Mario Acevedo. Wow. And then uh, Mechanical Animals, which is a steampunk anthology, which is, the, the title is borrowed from Marilyn Manson. Yeah. You know, that, that plays a big role in the book. And that's going to be edited by Jason Heller and awesome. Sel Selena Chambers, who did the steampunk Bible. Um, okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, do you know your booth number by any chance? I don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, look for he Hex Publishers. Look for Hex Publishers, and they may list it as Josh Viola. So, so, you know, just look for the the, cro the, the, the skull logo with the, the feather pin, and that's us. And we're going to have, have a cyber girl, some cosplay. She's dressing up. Yeah, so she'll be running around. You can't miss her. That's cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. So one, one, one last plug, because, I, like, I've, I've been dabbling in the movie thing. I got some productions going on. So when I hear, especially one of my buddies, writes a story that gets optioned and is actually going to be made into a full length freaking feature, right? Short film, not full. Short film, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a big deal. It's yeah. So, it's huge. um, my story, the librarian from yeah. nightmares Unhinged, uh, which is a, a kind of a mystery horror story, uh, was optioned by Paul Campion who directed, uh, the devil's rock. Um, oh, and yeah. then he was the, uh, special effects artist and art lead on a variety of, you know, uh, movies, the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, um, X -Men, various X-Men films, a lot of Constantine, a lot of big name films. So cool, man. And he has a pretty uh, uh, deep uh, uh, um, special effects background. Uh -huh. And he's currently, actually right now, he's finishing up a film with Brian Keane, who's a really big horror writer right now. So I'm, um, I'm next on the slate, and he's sent me the screenplay. It's approved, and I believe the production will begin either this winter or quarter one of next year. Okay. And I, I can't announce who, but we have some major practical effects coming through. And, and 
Paul was uh, uh, formerly worked at Weta, oh, uh, Weta wow. Studios, who did The Hobbit and Lord yeah. of the Rings, and that's I think that's Peter Jackson's uh, mm -hmm. company. So um, he's he's got some really interesting people that are going to be jumping onto the special effects. So pretty excited. That is so cool, man! Congratulations, thank and thank you for being here. Yeah, hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the soon-to-be legendary Josh Viola. Working on it. <laughs> the overachiever of, the overachiever of the century. <laughs> Talking about Denver Comic Con, Breckenridge Brewery. Bye. Bye. Groovy TV. Yeah. Yeah.